Every year, the National Urban League offers a snapshot of black America. And this year, in this tough economy, the focus is on jobs. Unemployment among African Americans is nearly twice the national average. Report also finds that overall, blacks have lost ground in the past year in the areas of education, health, social justice, and economics. But things are actually looking up for some small business owners in this country, as we learn from NBC's Ron Mott. Uh, no, this is good. In Philadelphia, you know, salmon has a lot of its own natural oil. David Sims has found a recipe for success. Eatable delights, good afternoon. His 12 year old catering business is now sizzling. See that fire? That's fun day. The Spark, a local Urban League training program he credits with teaching him more effective marketing strategies. They help me to achieve more for my business, which in turn, that allows me to hire more people. Today in Washington, the National Urban League released its annual report on black America. And those small businesses will in turn hire people in that community. Focusing on jobs, with the national unemployment rate last month at 8.9%, 15.3% for blacks. We are saying jobs, jobs, jobs. Urban League president and CEO Mark Morial says there's still room for optimism. There's a great deal of resilience, a great deal of fight back in many parts of the community particularly with the rise in uh, business ownership in the black community, the people who by necessity are turning to entrepreneurship. The report offers 12 ideas for putting urban America back to work, including restoring the summer youth jobs program, creating a public-private jobs initiative, and offering tax incentives to green companies hiring workers from high unemployment communities. While so many blacks struggle to find employment in this economy, Others have found working for themselves is a solid path to job security. In fact, the number of black-owned businesses in this country surged more than 60% from 2002 to 2007. Our business is up from six people in the field to 20 people in the field. Lonnie Grayson owns a workplace safety consulting firm in Cincinnati. He too got coaching from the Urban League that sent okay. sales soaring, okay. landing multi-million dollar contracts. Right now we're trending 30% above last year. And that's, a, that's been what I would call our explosive growth. Two small businesses growing the bottom line in the toughest of times. Ron Mott, NBC News, Philadelphia. Some hopeful news to report tonight on the health front for women. For the first time, women's death rates from lung cancer.